Hola mundo, soy Chris Pirillo y este es el informe diario de Locker Nom, o TLRD para abreviar tu dosis diaria de noticias geeks, reacciones de gadgets y otras respuestas que puedes usar. That introduction was sent to me yesterday by this guy. Because I don't know how to say his name out loud. And if anybody else happens to send me high quality video introductions to TLDR, I might just use them. I still have no idea what the guy said though. A few minutes before going live, I got access to the new Google Maps. It is so fluid, so much easier to use than the current version of Google Maps. And you can apply for the preview. Just head over to maps.google.com. Now, if you're watching this video five years after it was created, this probably looks like a joke to you. So worth the upgrade. And at this point in time, it has been optimized for Google Chrome. Shock. That reasoning has nothing to do with Google or Chrome, but Google Chrome support for WebGL. We want WebGL. We want WebGL. We want WebGL. I honestly have no idea what WebGL is, but it sounds cool. Hang on a minute. I'm going to bing it. WebGL, short for Web Graphics Library, is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 3D graphics and 2D graphics within any compatible web browser without the use of plugins. Okay, I really like it. My only question about WebGL is, do you call it WebGL or WebGL? I think I like WebGL better. Kind of like a seagull or a bagel. And before I continue, I've discovered a new Dropbox competitor. This time, you could get more free storage than Dropbox would ever give you. At least, I've already earned 2.2 terabytes worth of free storage. Go.tagjag.com slash copy is where you can go so that I get the referral. You get an extra 5 gig, I get an extra 5 gig, and the world is happy. Sign up for the service, verify your email, download the application available for iOS, Android, Windows, Linux, and OS X, so pretty much 99% of the planet, and you're good to go. It's a Dropbox killer for me, if only because I only had uh, 120 gigs of free storage from Dropbox, and then I lost that after the promotion ended. Go.tagjag.com slash copy. I got a package from Aerospace Aluminum today, and I'm not exactly sure what's inside yet. Let's find out together. Oh, it's another box. An anti-scratch, anti-fingerprint screen protector. Oh, in a nice case. This looks suitable for the iPhone 5 and it's clean. I'm assuming it's also made of aluminum or aluminium as some of you crazy people call it. I also want to let you know that the Locker Gnome Daily Report was brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It's how I meet with my team online. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, you can collaborate in HD video and your team stays on the same page by sharing the same screen. Just turn on your webcam. Launch or join a meeting using your computer, phone, or tablet. Even present from your iPad. I use GoToMeeting every day to meet with the people who are helping me with Vlogger Fair. We have to meet because we have to coordinate details, and it's easier to meet online digitally to talk about those details using GoToMeeting. And if you want to try GoToMeeting free for 30 days, visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code Perillo. Plus, one of you will get this Logitech B525HD webcam and the opportunity to have a 30-minute face-to-face GoToMeeting with me that will also be shared in this YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is to tell me what you'd like to talk about in our HD Faces GoToMeeting. Propose your ideas on Twitter using the Twitter's Twitter using the hashtags Perilla Webcam and GoToMeeting to qualify. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my hands on an Oya oh, yeah, today. O O U Y A. It's that Android gaming console cube small thing. So I'm gonna record a couple of videos with Creighton, uh, hands on, uh, first impressions, and any other type of video that we might want to do around the new type of console. Very affordable. I ordered mine, but it's not gonna come for a few more months. I think Android-based gaming consoles are a smart idea. I'm also wanting to get my hands on the NVIDIA Shield. I admit it, even though I'm not much of a gamer. I like more casual games, for example, Dots, which you saw me play in the Perillo vlog that was uploaded this morning. It's just a casual game that seems to be all the rage, Dots. We found a free ebook for how to use Evernote, if you want to download that, since you probably already use Evernote, and if you don't, you should, because it's awesome! And Candace Shane is back with another editorial. You can't take my desktop away, Windows 8. Do you love the desktop that much? It's one of the reasons why I know a lot of people have decided not to upgrade to Windows 8 because they feel that Microsoft's pushing them more into the Metro or modern UI experience. And I'm not the only one who believes that. I like having a desktop when I'm more... <laughs> When I'm working on a desktop computer or laptop computer or notebook computer, that's what I was trying to say there a couple of seconds ago. But when I'm on a tablet, I don't want to see the desktop. Why then, I ask you, if you can see my reflection in the surface there, why did Microsoft include the desktop in Windows 8 on the surface? I really wish Microsoft would decide what to do with the Windows brand. 
like blowing up the Windows Phone 8 experience. Oh, I'm out of battery. I unboxed this thing last night and I've been playing with it ever since. You know, the Nokia Lumia 928? Anyway, I dream of a day where I can use that operating system on this type of computer. But I really don't think anybody at Microsoft's getting that memo. Candace is upset about it, and I know many of you are upset about it too. Desktop represents ease of use. No desktop for you in Windows 8. Okay, you can have a desktop, but jump through these hoops first. Don't know what's best for me? Eh, well, if you agree with Candace, you let her know, because maybe if enough of us complain, Microsoft will change. I think I've found my next bathrobe. I could be a stormtrooper. Microsoft is said to be killing off Xbox points in favor of currency and gift card system. W what about all my existing Xbox points? I never really used them for anything because I, I don't use the Xbox to buy things. On deals.lockernome.com, we have one hell of a bargain for you. You can stock up on thousands of high quality design resources for just 50 bucks, and that's a savings of over $1,000. You get the Ultimate Vector Collection, 25 Christmas Backgrounds, HTML5 Photo Gallery Collection, Vintage Ink Textures, Ultra Shock Backgrounds Collection, Ember Stock Label Collection, Vector Holiday Images, OS Training Coupon, 50% off, Vector Special Effects Series, Organic Noise Texture, you get a lot, okay? I'm not even going to read the whole list. If you're doing anything with desktop, app, or web design, you better get content that you can use. And if you've been looking to connect a wireless microphone headset to a mixer, we've posted a tutorial and this nice picture of a woman holding on to an LP. A record. You know, I grew up with that kind of music. I think she's using it wrong, though, because you needed a record player. You can't just listen to the record that way unless your ear has the needle on it, and it probably doesn't. LP. You know, that's what I would have called Google's all-access music because Google's all-access music doesn't have all music. You can't access it on all devices, and it's definitely not available in all countries. I'm not trying to rain on your parade if you happen to like what Google's doing with All Access. I'm more of a fan of Spotify myself. If only because it's easy and I can get to it from pretty much everything that I have. Apple's App Store reaches 50 billion downloads. Half of those were from me. I don't know if you got the memo, but I'm kind of addicted to apps. Samsung has changed its mind. We'll look at storage on the Galaxy S4. When I was watching the Google I.O. keynote, it was really interesting to hear Google say that you would be able to get AOSP on a Samsung Galaxy S4, and I'm a fan of that because I think that the Samsung Galaxy S4 camera is probably one of the best Android cameras I've ever used. I'm just not much of a fan of third-party overlays. Once I used the Nexus 4, I was a fan of AOSP for life. Some people said that I can put CM on here, and I might do that if I have no other choice. Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you want to save money on your next purchase, just email me first, chris at perlo.com, especially if it has to do with SSL or hosting. VJ Agroya asks, what's speedier, Samsung Galaxy S4 or HTC One? He says he's not really interested in fancy features. He wants a phone that's fast, fluid, responsive, and with good battery backup. In short, he wants speed. So between these two devices, I've definitely found the Samsung Galaxy S4 to be way more responsive than the HTC One. I know, I know, so many of you love the HTC One. That's fine. I'm not saying you have to stop loving the HTC One. I'm just saying that in my experience, the Samsung Galaxy S4 has been way more responsive than the HTC One. Trust me, there is far less jank in the Samsung Galaxy S4 across the board. And you should also keep in mind that I think the LG Optimus G Pro is more responsive than the Samsung Galaxy S4. And I think the LG Nexus 4 is more responsive than the LG Optimus Pro Pro G Pro Pro. I'm never going to get that name right. What was it? I have to take a drink every time I screw it up. The bottom line is that you have a choice, and we all have different experiences with those choices. And no matter what you choose to use, thank you for downloading the free Lockernome app available for Android and iOS at this point in time. And we really appreciate you liking our things that we're doing for you and liking them enough to like them and share them with everybody you know, assuming you know more than just me. That's a, that's a wide assumption, but well, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.